Continuing on with the uh, built-in Articulate Storyline quiz slide customization that we've been doing all week, I think that it's only appropriate to show you how to create a custom submit button. So you'll notice that when we preview a built-in Storyline quiz slide, you will see the built-in submit button. Now this button it appears by default just as the next or previous button would look in Articulate Storyline. So it kind of has, um, so this button appears just as the next or previous button would look like in the player in Articulate Storyline. It's kind of a bland gray button and we want to customize that to kind of give some more visual appeal to our quiz slide. So what we want to do is first go into edit properties for the slide layer and see the submit check mark. We are going to disable that. Now we're going to click OK and you'll notice that our trigger for submitting the interaction has um, disappeared. What I want to do is I want to make it a bit uniform in terms of um, what I've done with my feedback buttons. So I'm just going to uh, select this continue button and control C, copy that. And then we're going to go back to our main slide and we're going to paste that. So I'm just going to drag it up here so that it's kind of um, in line with uh, how I want my box to look. And I'm just going to decrease the font size down to 14. Um, and you know what? I actually don't like the look of that. So I'm going to format this to, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to take the outline away. No outline. So now we've got our submit button. Now You'll notice that when we copied that over, we also copied over our triggers. So we're just going to delete the triggers. And then we need to add a trigger to submit our interaction. So what we're going to do here is create a new trigger. And we want to submit interaction. And the interaction we want to submit is multiple choice. And then we click OK. And now we have our custom submit button. So we're just going to preview this and check it out. So now when we select our correct response, which is paper, and click submit, you will notice that it submits the interaction and our feedback will appear. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to create your own custom submit button.